Today on Spirit Sunday, our panel discussion focuses on blissful living. We'll have an inspiring chat about harnessing your personal power and realizing your full human potential with psycho spiritual empowerment specialist, Mr. Ashraf Murad. You might have heard the expressions harnessing your personal power and realizing your human potential, but what does this entail and how possible is it to achieve? To help us understand how we can unleash our inner power and connect to our human potential, we have invited a psycho spiritual empowerment specialist, Mr. Ashraf Murad. Welcome to Welcome, Spirit welcome. Sunday. Tell us about yourself and what do you specialize in? I'm a psycho-spiritual empowerment uh -huh. specialist. I have a variety of degrees and qualifications. Mm -hmm. But what I'd like to share is for the past 20 years, I've been on a search, yeah. a search to understand why my life was the way it was, mm -hmm. why is people's lives the way it is, and the nature of personal reality. So I'm very pleased to say that the quest that I've been on is fulfilled and I have my answers and I now share my answers with people from across South Africa. And what is this term, psycho-spiritual empowerment? Well, I didn't know what else to call myself. Mm -hmm. And so, because I have a bachelor's degree in science and an honors degree in psychology, and I've studied a lot of literature, religious, spiritual literature, I looked at some type of description of myself. So, psycho comes from psychology, meaning mm -hmm. of the mind. Spiritual comes from the aspect of religion that is more pragmatic, it's spiritual. Mm -hmm. And I was going to say psycho-spiritual, physical empowerment specialist, <laughs> but it was a bit too long. <laughs> so it's because we experience ourselves largely as physical beings. As yeah. you sit there, I'm here. So you think when you look into the mirror, that's who you are. Mm. But really, who you are, I can't see. And mm. who I am, you can't see. Mm. But you can feel who you are, and I can feel who you are. So mm. psycho-spiritual empowerment is really about supporting that aspect of you that is largely non-observable. Yeah. It's a feeling aspect. So we are psychological beings. We are also spiritual beings. And so when we clear away the blockages to mm. our spirit being experienced by us, then that's the empowerment. So mm. psycho-spiritual empowerment is also known as self-empowerment. Mm. But mm. a lot of people think self-empowerment is about setting goals mm. and achieving. Mm. But as I define it, self-empowerment is really about allowing that which has given you life mm. to actually support you and sustain you and working with that spirit within you mm. to actually create the life that you want. So psycho-spiritual empowerment is about actually uncovering who you really are, the mm. true self, feeling that being that you are, and then being inspired by fulfillment and creating the life that mm. you can have. Mm. Sure. Mr. Murad, lots of people talk about human potential. Yes. Human potential, this, that. what yes. is that and how do I un unravel that? Okay. Mm. Each human being has the potential to actually express themselves in terms of their true self. Now, I didn't know that I had this ability mm. 15, 20 years mm. ago. I didn't know I had it. Mm. Everybody has an ability to tap into their creativity. Mm. You see, everybody is created not only by God, but from God. And most people don't know this, that you created by God, from God. So within you is God. In fact, you are in God and God is in you and there is no outside. Mm. When you come to experience this as spirituality, because faith has been a word that I've been pondering about for a long time. Different religions speak about faith. Mm. I've been interested in the pragmatic, the experiential definition of faith, mm. not what people say. You know, mm. the different religions mm. say mm. this and you believe, do that and you believe. I've been interested in the beingness that is behind faith of, from all traditions. So faith for me is the knowing of your identity as being a part of God and experiencing it. And this is where that inner peace, that true security comes from, mm. from relinquishing the illusion of separation. Mm. This, the feeling of separation that permeates society that is actually the cause of all diseases, mm. all problems, every problem. What I found in my work was that whether people were in debt, whether people were in depression, whatever distress they were experiencing, divorce, anything, mm. it all has one cure. And that cure is actually being yourself, mm. which is natural because you're a part of God and God is in you, mm. but we actually block that. Mm. So harnessing your personal power is really about recognizing the obstacles that you have okay. that prevent the natural expression of you from actually being felt by you. So mm. as I speak to you, it happens very naturally. Mm. In fact, it's the easiest thing I can do. Mm. It's harder to not be yourself. Yeah. Mm. So a lot of people say, but I don't know who I am. Well, you know, what is my purpose in life? Mm. That perspective from which you stand is marred. 
because you're talking from a perspective of separation. Mm -hmm. So as you learn to appreciate yourself, because this is a secret, here it is. I'm give, sharing it with South Africans through your program. Thank you for this. Mm -hmm that the secret of actually healing yourself and your life, the secret of actually living your life in terms of your fullest potential, you asked me the question, harnessing your personal power, mm. is actually to begin by letting yourself be while you are as you are in that moment. Most people are comparing themselves, mm. rejecting sure. themselves, judging themselves. Most of us have been compared, be like your sister, be like that mm. one. So we are constantly in a state of self-judgment mm. because we've been judged. Mm. So as you begin to allow yourself to be exactly as you are, this is so counterintuitive in society's, society's maneuvers. Society maneuvers okay. you into strive, achieve, set mm. goals, move, mm. be other than you are, change. Mm. Change occurs naturally when you let yourself be as you are. Ashraf, in closing, you know, uh, she talked about stress, people that are undergoing hectic yeah. stress. In closing, to all our viewers that are watching this morning, what are your words of wisdom to kind of pick them up and tell them to go forward? Okay, I'd like to comment a little bit on what the doctor said. Mm. You see, there is light, and then there's the absence of light. Mm -hmm. Darkness is the absence of light. And darkness can be experienced because you are in the dark. Mm. But darkness is not real. Darkness is not real. It's only light that is real because when the light is on, the darkness disappears. Mm. Mm. If you try to work with the darkness, you are in an illusion because you can't fill darkness into a box and get it out of the room. Mm. You can't do anything with it. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. So the way to clear out darkness is to switch on the light. Mm. And so when we work with diseases, you're working with darkness. Mm -hmm. And hence, I respect what the good doctor is doing here because the real solution is to ease up. Mm -hmm. Because ease is natural, mm -hmm. disease is unnatural. Mm -hmm. When you stress and strain, you go from ease into disease. Mm -hmm. And then when you try to work with disease, drug addiction, mm -hmm. distress, mm -hmm. depression, this is the reason why the, the, the failure rate is so high in the area of this, because you're working with the darkness. Mm -hmm. You can't work with the darkness, it is an illusion. The only way to get rid of drug addiction, mm. depression, diseases, is actually to support wellness. Mm. And wellness starts by loving yourself and appreciating yourself and respecting yourself while you are as you are. And that's free advice. Mm. you know mm. and nothing stops you from doing that mm. Mm. it's your willingness to appreciate yourself while you are as you are and value your life and the gift that i believe we've been all given mm. is the gift of experience mm. and these days i feel much more joy than i've ever felt in my life i feel yes. much more passion for life yes. and that's the point for me of life is to be inspired by self-appreciation and valuing your life and receiving the gift mm. that god has given us mm. the enjoyment and appreciation of yes. life talking about the gift of experience has been a wonderful experience thank having you guys on Spirit thank Sunday. You. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. We hope that this discussion has helped you realize what brings you inner joy, comfort and love. Stay with Spirit Sunday. It's not what you are that holds you back. It's what you think you are not.